what's going man what's up and welcome back to another video in this video we got top 20 awesome dragon ball power-up scenes like i said in the last video about dragon ball i love this anime bro and i i and i like that you know they're honoring the creator by having so much stuff like this come out now so i can look back and watch it and you can watch it with me but let's go ahead and get into this one Shit, before we before we even start, y'all know my my favorite ever power up might be but my favorite scene where you know they got they powered up was uh the power up that Vegeta got when he went Majin Vegeta and he let his evil side take over. I like I like that as like the best power up in the series. That that was dumb fire to me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the coolest, craziest, three or hard most as fuck legendary too. surges of strength in all of Dragon Ball. Ally to good! Is, that's crazy. You. Number 20, Orange Piccolo. This is in the uh, new most Dragon Ball Hero movie, right? Getting beaten to a pulp and slammed into a pit isn't a great way to win a fight. With Gohan and uh, no Piccolo, need to worry. Piccolo they both get new forms, right? backup plan by the name of Shenron. All you have, plus a bitch. This is bro, my fault, y'all. Niggas cutting the grass at 4 10 on a Tuesday afternoon. That's fucking crazy. The Who wish does that shit? dragon unlocked the Namekian's latent potential, and the results are plain to see. Erupting from a pillar of orange energy, yeah, is hard. Piccolo's he's return he's to the and battlefield yeah, is hard. the very definition of epic. Go if you want to know the, just the how beast, strong this form is, look no further than the fact that Piccolo doesn't even flinch at Gamma 2's attacks anymore. Its resident Namekian was long overdue a transformation, Facts. and thankfully, Orange Piccolo's debut was worth the wait. Well, well, no. uh, thank you, Shenron. Different the version, so. a long way. Number nine. I didn't watch that movie. Golden Freezer. Watch it. Freezer. Over the years, there's been a lot of gilded transformations in Dragon Ball, from Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, and yes, even Freezer. If I hadn't evolved to a new level myself then this might have proven rather I pause it on the gold. but although we've already seen the space tyrant try on the golden look this scene sells the weight of the power up like never before the sharp and detailed animation fills the screen with so much gold the glow of it can literally be seen from space it's more than a mere paint job though the only thing cooler than the transformation itself right here not gonna lie not gonna lie might be right here might be the best like villain design ever this nigga is gold and purple cut that shit is so fire you can't look at this shit and tell me this is not fire bro bro i feel finna, i feel i'm finna lose it just talking about it right is watching oh, that Freezer shit is so cold, his bro. new power to utterly obliterate the poor assassins. I know such a good villain. a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. After a power boost like this, those guys never stood a chance. <laughs> Number 18, Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks. What's a transformation without some dramatic flair? To go ten and trunks, the answer is nothing. Hey bro, That's leave a like if you ever try to do a fusion shove, dance. They still held onto their trump card until the very end. I was just trying to make the fight more fantastic. If you would have let me, I could have taken care of Majin Buu and we'd be on the outside now. You blew it! You won! It's only when they're trapped in the hyperbolic time chamber with the fate of the earth hanging in the back. Let's see. Um, what are all the things? Let's see. Have y'all? This is the fusion dance. Have ever y'all? I know. I know. I'm not the only one. Have y'all tried to do the fusion dance? This is the fusion dance with Gotenks. Have y'all tried to do instant transmission? The little, the instant transmission. Uh, con the Kamehameha wave. What else have I tried to do? A Gallic gun. What? 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 What have y'all tried to do? What attacks or powers have y'all tried to do from Dragon Ball? I know. I know. Everybody's done at least one balance that they finally unveil Super Saiyan 3 in all its glory. On principle, the roar that triggers the iconic golden mullet just can't be beat. 
but it's even more memorable because of how much character is packed into its hilarious context. In the end, Gotenks got their wish. They saved the day and looked damn cool while doing it. Your body, I wish they would have done more with um, Goten and Trunks and Dragon Ball like Super. Look? It would have been cool. <laughs> Number 17, Evil Boo, Majin Boo. You really don't want to make this guy mad, not just because Boo's an all-powerful villain with no moral compass, but also because he has some serious anger management issues. Tell me who you are first! Me, Boo! Majin Boo! You fool, I'm Majin Boo! So much so that Majin Alright, this is gonna be it's gonna be I know I stopped at dumb times so far, but who is your favorite villain out the series? Um I'll go, I'll go in Dragon Ball. I'm gonna do just Dragon Ball Z. Um, Raditz, uh, Vegeta, and what is it, Nappa? Um, Frieza and the Ginyu Force and all that, and um, Namek, uh, Cell, or Majin Buu. Who, who is y'all favorite villain out of Dragon Ball Z? Boo's Me personally, I like Majin Buu the best. Into a Kid whole Boo. other no. version of himself. That's right, two Boos for the price of one, and neither is particularly friendly. But as if the grey-skinned evil Boo wasn't frightening enough, he then eats his original form, transforming again into the new and improved Super Boo. Each form is scarier, cooler, and more insane than the last. But from a character like Boo, we shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Number 16, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Broly. Man. With one key blast and Broly one hell of a so monologue, many, Frieza triggered so one of the most moments, iconic man. Super Saiyan transformations in decades. Just now, a what if we said bro. that was just the start? It's your father! He was Top killed by a stray energy opinion. blast! <clears throat> Dragon Ball Super Broly doesn't skimp in the animation departments, and that's no clearer than when its title character finally lives up to his potential. There's no other way to put it. Broly's explosive final transformation is a pure spectacle through and through. But rest assured, it's got some serious power behind it too. Not just anyone can keep up with Gogeta himself. After witnessing Broly's jaw-dropping strength, it's obvious why they call him the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> Number 15, Super Saiyan <coughs> God, Goku. <coughs> to unlock the red hair dye, it took a threat to the Earth, Lord an ancient ceremony, Dr yeah, and the power of five Saiyans. Yet, somehow, Super Saiyan God was worth it all. Trading golden hair for a divine aura, this new style proved that Goku could still tussle with the best of them, even literal destroyer gods. When I, when I get up in, in lit and shit, I'm gonna buy Lord Beerus outfit and I'm gonna wear it all the time. While the red hairdo is certainly a nice change of pace, the real meat of this glow up comes from Goku's high flying spat with Beerus. In just one fight, Super Saiyan God earned itself a place as one of the most impressive Saiyan skills to date, and there's a lot of them. Paid your strength because it's not yours. That's right. That's a sign of pride. It will be your downfall. Number 14, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black. By Dragon Ball Super, oh, yeah. we've pretty much so seen far, the bro. whole Saiyan rainbow. But then, Goku Black came along. Instead of the standard gold, red, or blue, the doppelganger went with pink. And just like that, Super Saiyan Rose was born. Did they, did they explain why his hair was color, pink? Huh? The look on Trunks and Vegeta's face says it all. This is unlike anything we've seen before. It's new, it's intimidating, and most of all, why he has it's the stylish color. as hell. If y'all remember, remember what he said, let through me know Super in the Saiyan Blue Vegeta like it's a warm up. Super Saiyan Rose isn't the last new form introduced in the future Trunks arc, but it's still the most memorable. But I'll show you how far I've come. Say what? <laughs> Number 13, Super Saiyan, Trunks. Go on! 
Back in the day when classic Super Saiyan still meant something, few debuts did it as well as Trunks's. Taking place in a timeline devastated by the androids, you can practically feel the Saiyan's heartbroken rage, especially since he's sitting over the body of his dead mentor, Gohan. The rain, the music, the voice acting, all together it's an emotional gut punch you simply can't look away from, no matter how hard you try. Man, I've tried to go Super Saiyan so many times, bro. There's not that many transformations in all of Dragon Ball that are this tragic, but then again, that's precisely why Trunks turning Super Saiyan is one for the history books. Number 12, Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Yeah, what's that transformation? Man, I love, I love GT, bro. <laughs> I like Super Saiyan Love 4, or hate it, Omega, at least Shenron, something good did come out of Baby. Dragon Ball GT. Baby, right? After a less than stellar 34 episodes, things finally started to pick up halfway through the Baby Saga. After transforming Baby. into okay. Golden Uzaru, audiences were treated to a brief look into Goku's fractured mind before Super Saiyan 4 is unleashed. The design is pretty divisive, but the experience was sweet all the same, mm -hmm. due to how long fans were left waiting to see Goku as an adult once again. Mm -hmm. Yes! He did it! <laughs> Number 11, Ultra, Ultra Instinct. Instinct, Goku. A precursor to the awesomeness to come. Dragon Ball Super's Universe Survival Arc does not lack capable warriors, with Universe 11's Jiren being absurdly strong. <laughs> After overpowering Goku and returning his spirit bomb, Terminal the Saiyan loses so consciousness and falls right into the massive ball Just of energy. That, At first, people assume the worst, before Goku is reborn in an entirely new form. The shimmering aura proves to be the tipping point needed to finally put Jiren and his universal cronies on the back step. Man, Ultra Instinct soundtrack. Number is 10, crazy. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, Goku. Once Super Saiyan was introduced, Kaioken quickly became obsolete. Created by King Kai, Goku successfully uses the technique multiple times during the Saiyan and Namek sagas. I am still figuring it out. At this point, I only have about a 1 in 10 chance of pulling it off. Fast forward more than two decades, and the power-up is suddenly resurrected for Dragon Ball Super. In the final battle of the Universe 6 tournament, the assassin Hit has Goku on the ropes, so the Saiyan activates Kaioken while in his Super Saiyan blue form. Quite the color combo. I know it's risky, but there's a big payoff, too. Number 9, Final Form, Frieza. Oh. Damn, this shit look dumb old, bro. Self-proclaimed ruler and Dragon Ball's baddest of bads, King Cold's Jeez, second man. son it, it, is it arguably so the most iconic young. villain of the franchise. Old. Born with enough power to destroy entire planets, Frieza did not need to train <coughs> a single day in his life. While fighting Vegeta on Namek, the sadistic ruler goes through a handful of transformations, with each one being bigger than the last. Freak After nigga. announcing Freak there is nigga. one more change, Toriyama subverted expectations by having Frieza's final form be way smaller but much scarier. Number 8, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Vegeta. You can always count on Vegeta to take a moment of despair and turn it into a crowd pleaser. With Goku laying helpless on the floor, Frieza summons Vegeta and asks him to prove his allegiance by killing off Kakarot. But I've already made my decision. I'm going to pulverize you until there's nothing left. Yeah. Instead, the prince transforms effortlessly into Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, more commonly known now as Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Blue. Blue, wiping the smirk off Frieza's face. No, this can't be real! Considering Vegeta used to be terrified of the tyrant, this role reversal provided much needed closure. <laughs> Number 7, Perfect Cell, Cell. 
Yes, Cell's final transformation is at last at hand. Hey man, Cell got she such good character design too, bro. It's hard to pick. Vegeta's pride ruins the day like, once again. Semi-perfect Cell was far from a pushover, but Vegeta and Trunks had the upper hand during their fight. Unfortunately, the Saiyan Prince prioritized his own ego and refused to deliver the final blow until Cell achieved perfection. After swallowing up Android 18, we are treated to a mesmerizing light show as the villain slowly reveals his him. final form. As one of the best villains in the franchise, this transformation is fondly remembered as a standout moment of the series. <laughs> Number 6. Beast Gohan Gohan, shattering your limits must run <coughs> in the family. When both his daughter and Piccolo are put on the chopping block, Gohan becomes so angry he gets a new kind of power all to himself. And of course, it comes with one hell of a jaw-dropping debut. That all you've got? <laughs> Man, I'm so glad Gohan's okay, back. Then. Guess it's my turn. Gohan's enraged roar is, well, bestial. With a power level as big as his new hair, the beast form is the best part of Gohan's character, all wrapped into one spine-tingling fight scene. Fittingly, it's against none other than Cell Max. Just try not to blink through it. Beast Gohan is so overpowered, our only <clears throat> complaint is we wanted to see more of it. Special Theme Canada! Number 5. Super Saiyan Vegeta Well, better late than never. I'll finish these androids, but then you're next, got it? After seeing Goku and Trunks beat him to the punch, Vegeta finally manages to turn Super Saiyan after pushing himself to near death. As far as transformations go, this one is rather short and straight to the point. With the prince delivering his classic one-liners before powering up. I didn't care about anything! And then it happened! While still very much in his arrogant anti-hero phase, witnessing Vegeta attain this level of strength was quite something, it especially with the beatdown that followed. I am the prince of all Vegeta always being his ass again. Again, man. It feel good. And cut me off, but I was saying Vegeta always get his ass Number beat, four, bro. It feels good when you do, when you do good. Goku. You know you're doing something right when even the gods of destruction yeah, stand to offer their to respect. Throughout the Tournament of Power, Goku's uphill fights against Jiren pushed him to near divine levels of strength. And in the 11th hour, it all paid off in a scene that speaks for itself. Damn. That should be not feel Sporting like incredible build-up and top-rate animation, the unveiling of Mastered Ultra Instinct is by and large the crowning moment of all Dragon Ball Super. It manages to culminate the tournament, Goku's character, and the entire arc of the show in one breathtaking moment. Even if Goku surpasses his limits again one day, there will never be anything quite like Ultra Instinct. Autonomous Ultra Instinct! Don't even know what Number autonomous three, means. Super Saiyan 2. Gohan. Everyone has a breaking point. Don't think you can beat me just by powering up. A sensitive and quiet boy, Goku's son does not really enjoy fighting, but he is willing to do anything to protect those important to him. <laughs> Look at what you've done! Perfect Cell spends episode after episode tormenting Gohan to try and awaken his real power before the death of Android 16 sends the young Saiyan over the deep end. Incredible. From Super Saiyan 2's electrifying design to that bone-chilling scream, Cell got more than he bargained for and then some. I like screams like that. It's kind of like a primal scream, you know? Nice, Number like two, Super right. Saiyan, Ugh. Goku. Ugh. I won't let you! <laughs> it's the form that changed everything. Prior to this historic transformation, fans were still waiting to see if the legendary Super Saiyan myth held any water. 
Believing that Goku's fierce spirit bomb put Frieza down for the count, Krillin and Piccolo are defenseless as the tyrant launches a counterattack. Uh, it's Frieza! Fueled by the explosive death of his best friend, Goku loses control and taps into his inner Saiyan, going golden in the process. Even today, this scene still gives us goosebumps. Just did. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the it's scream to end all screams. Yeah, Super that's Saiyan 3 one. might be Goku's least utilized form, but the transformation was beyond perfect. And this, you know, now that he say that, bro, bro, they introduced Super Saiyan 3. The nigga used it like two God. times, and both times Even he used it, it wasn't that far. While most power ups tend to happen out of really, nowhere, like, it gave him a power quickly, boost, but like Goku didn't help him defeat Super the Super Saiyan 3 type of thing. deliberately after around five minutes of build up. It's kind of like this all his sequence other power ups did something with for shots real. Of tsunamis, Super Saiyan 3 was like more for show. And a panicking King Kai. No, me. stop it, Goku. Suggesting Goku's new form might not be the greatest idea given the magnitude of force it is able to exert. But damn if it isn't amazing to behold. I remember like Super Saiyan 100 and that nigga hair was like... What's your favorite planet. Dragon Ball power-up? Don't be shy, let us know in those comments below. The Majin Vegeta is my favorite power-up. It's almost scary what you're capable of. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these I other clips. I most definitely did, and I hope that y'all enjoyed this video too. If y'all did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. Turn the post notification bells on, and peace, love, and positivity, and I will catch y'all in the next one. It's two options in this world. Is you gonna win or lose? Is you gonna take the risk or not? You know you gotta choose. Yeah, I can't keep one, so all my bitches come in twos. 